Hey there, everyone. Oh, yeah. Welcome to my Tennessee Titans 2022 through 2023 review. I have decided to do this review next after what happened today. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, we, so Tennessee Titans this year. Oh, my God. Yeah, they went through a lot. Oh, yeah. Ugh. John Robinson hit the bottom of the barrel. I mean, seriously, trading A.J. Brown over to the Philadelphia Eagles just to get Traylon Burks. At least we got Malik Willis out of it. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. At least we got also got, oh, my God, Roger McCreary. Oh, yeah. Nicholas Petit Frere. Oh, my word. Oh. And Malik Willis. Oh, my, yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, my God. But still, the schedule schedule was was really rough. I mean, seriously. We started off 0-2. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Then we climbed up. Then we climbed up. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. We were able to sweep, in, sweep Indianapolis Colts only because the Colts were bad under Frank Wright. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, no, no. Wait a minute. Oh, my God. But still, but still, the last win Tennessee Titans had this year was Green Bay Packers. After that, they piled up a seven-game losing streak. Ugh, I, I, it was awful. It was so awful. Oh, my God. They, they even got swept by Jacksonville Jaguars this year. Ugh, for the first time in years. Oh, my God. Yeah, that was awful. That was so, so awful. Oh my god. I was going to bring this up, but luckily today Todd Downing was fired. Thank God. So, oh my word. Ugh. So, now they can focus on a new offensive coordinator in addition to a new general manager. Who whoever they get as the new general manager and ha has to get the right guys for the job to help Mike Vrabel. I mean, seriously, oh my god, they have to get the right players for Mike Vrabel. I mean, seriously, oh my god. And as for the new offensive coordinator, they gotta run this offense. They gotta run this offense very good. I mean, seriously. I mean, I mean seriously, this offense sucked. It sucked this year. Oh my god, oh man. With Downing. Ugh. Ugh. Oh my god. Especially with Dennis Daly in that offensive line. And yet Keith Clark got fired. Oh my god. Yeah, Keith Clark paid the price. Ugh. Oh my god. Yeah. And now they're expected to bring in a new offensive line coach. Ugh. Oh my god. Oh my god. But now, now they are going to have to move forward with that 11th pick in the NFL draft. Ooh, oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. Now moving forward to the 2023 NFL opponents for the Tennessee Titans. Like always, they face Houston Texans, Indianapolis Colts, and Jacksonville Jaguars twice. Oh my god. But now comes the home opponents. They got the Ravens and the Bengals at home because of the AFC North. Oh my word, yeah. For NFC South, ooh, oh man. Yeah, they got the Falcons and the Panthers. Their AFC West opponent at home is the Los Angeles Chargers. Ooh, oh my my word. They also got, oh my God, they also got Seattle Seahawks, which is their NFC West opponent. Oh man. Oh man. Now for their away team. Oh yeah. Yeah, their away teams are as follows. For their AFC North, they got Cleveland Browns, Pittsburgh Steelers. Oh, yeah. They got Tampa Bay Buccaneers and New Orleans Saints. Ooh. And, of course, their AFC East opponent, Miami Dolphins. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Oh, what unbelievable. So, so we avoid Bills and Chiefs next year unless somehow we make the playoffs. Ugh, oh my god. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Anyways, that's my 2022 through 2023 Tennessee Titans review. And I'll see you all in a bring even more breaking news. Choose your next general manager and offensive coordinator wisely. Amy Adams-Strunk and Mike Vrabel.